Swings it to the outside. Hunt works his way in for the touchdown. Terrell Edmonds, the rookie, couldn't bring him down. Act runner, great balance, strength. Ladies and gentlemen, TMZ has done it again. They have broken exclusive. Kareem Hunt went from running back superstar to he's out the league. Will he get a job back? And we're going to discuss this issue of men fighting women, women fighting men, and whether or not Kareem Hunt deserves a second chance in the NFL. Let's go. What's good, YouTube? You're back in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sexy as hell host. And we're bringing you your life game today and how men and women have to interact with each other. And we're starting out with NFL running back Kareem Hunt. But before we do that, we got to put on the plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. Work on skilling up our craft. Giving you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Leave me comments about what you think. And instead of having a sponsor, I'm doing a giveaway. If you watch this video, I'm giving away an Android RU Stream box. It is going to go to someone, and all you've got to do is be a subscriber to this channel. Leave me a comment, and also go subscribe to the Life Games Finance and Fitness channel. I will announce the winner for that box next week. Kareem Hunt. In February, this past February, in a hotel, was caught on tape kicking a woman, kicking his girlfriend, pushing a woman, and all that was on tape without sound. TMZ got it, and he just came out and did an apology after being cut from the Kansas City Chief just this past week. Take a look at his interview where he apologizes. It was just a, a long night, and to be exact, it don't really matter what happened. I was in the wrong. I could have, you know took responsibility and, you know, made the right decision to, you know, find a way to de-escalate the whole situation. Some other video is out there, some interviews with his girlfriend, and a lot of people, you know, want to know more of the backstory. but I'm just going to judge this story, not having seen or what happened before, just on this damning video. My grandma once told me, she said, Lamont, and this is back in the 80s, y'all, she said, Lamont, no matter if a woman beats you, you don't hit her back, you restrain her. Don't hit her, restrain her, and walk away. All right? Now, I've learned that in the state I live in, just by even restraining a woman from hitting you, you didn't hit her, you restrained her, can have your ass in jail. It's not kidnapping, but it was something, forced restraint or something like that. You can get in trouble for that. I'll bring that to this story of Kareem Hunt. In this video and the stuff that's surfacing on the web is saying that he was drunk, um, there was an altercation with his girlfriend or whatever before this happened, but what we saw on the video was him kicking her, pushing her, she pushed him back a little bit. No matter what you may feel about domestic abuse, fighting, hitting, pushing, and kicking, it's going to always be a double standard, especially with a pro athlete who, in a sport where he's supposed to be bigger, stronger, and faster, He's pushing a woman. It's just not a good look in the court of public opinion, no matter how you want to shape it up. Yes, the Me Too movement is revving up. They're doing equality for women. And in all honesty, no one should be putting their hands on anyone. But as a grown man with a whole lot to lose, because his woman, Kareem Hump's woman, didn't have a lot to lose. He's the one with the public image and a lot to lose. You cannot do that. I don't think he know he was being filmed, but hell, that don't make no difference. You still can't do it. And if there was mitigating circumstances that preempted you to do what you did, you have just got to know to just put your hands up, don't shoot, walk away. No matter if the woman jumps on your back, the only way, only thing you could have done is restrain her, and that did not look like a situation where she was attacking you. Now, I've been reading comments about this situation, and a lot of people, mostly women, are saying he should be banned from the NFL forever. 
Now, I'm a person who believes in second chances, but then there are some things I don't believe deserve second chances. Now, all I'm saying for you people out there that believe he should never come back is be linear in your argument. If you don't think he should be able to come back, then if a doctor gets caught in domestic abuse, if a lawyer gets caught in domestic abuse, if a teacher gets caught in domestic abuse, it should be a ban for life across the board. It shouldn't just be that the NFL player gets caught doing something like this and he's banned forever. It should be a, a ban across the board. Now, oftentimes in this climate we're looking at, we've seen politicians get away with stuff that they shouldn't come back from and their asses still have a job. So I just want you, no matter what you believe, be linear in your belief. Don't be a hypocrite all across the board. I think we need more information before we start saying he should be banned permanently. Now, if this is a pattern of behavior where he has been you know, fighting this lady, beating her and stuff like this outside of what we've seen on the TMZ and there's provable evidence, then not he should be punished by the law and most likely he should be banned. But if this was just a one-off where things got out of hand and the situation has been met copiously with the girlfriend, that she's cool, everybody's cool, and he rehabilitates himself and he started that process with this, this apology he did, maybe he should be able to come back. And so the life gain takeaway I want you fellas to take from this is, it does not matter the situation you're in with a woman. You cannot hit her, try to restrain her, walk away and get to the police and give them a phone call unless your life is under direct threat. And in that situation, then you have to defend yourself. But if your life is not under direct threat, she's just trying to slap you because you winked at a girl that had a big butt or something, you know, maybe block the slap, walk away or something like that. But you cannot turn around and deck a woman because men are still bigger, faster, stronger, no matter where we reach with equality. You're not gonna change the equality of science. A man under traditional standards, the average guy is gonna always be bigger than the average woman. And in that situation, you walk away. Now granted, ladies, don't just be well enough hitting on men. Just because you've got this innate thing that, oh, a man's not supposed to hit me, and if he hits me, the cops are gonna be on my side and all that. You have some respect about yourself too, and don't hit a man. If you're mad with them, tell them you're mad, tell them to get away from you. But men, in the court of public opinion, your life gain is no matter what she does, if she ain't about to kill you, you walk away. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life gain. Hands up, walk away, fellas. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.